Are you tired of having to read books the old-fashioned way? Are you tired of having to sound out all those words? Dumbledore? Are you tired of bloody fingers from turning dangerous pages? Ah! There's got to be a better way! And now there is! Well, sort of. I'm not talking about Kobo or Kindle. I'm talking about Dan and Jeff. These two guys have taken all seven of the Harry Potter books and boiled them down into 70 minutes for their hit show called Potted Potter. And they're about to do book one for us in under a minute. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Start the book. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Harry Potter. Hi, I'm Harry Potter. He was a leopard. Hi, I'm Harry Potter. He lived under the stairs. I live under the stairs. Now, it turned out that he was a wizard. Ooh, ooh. So they gave him a wand. Thank you. And an owl called Hedgewick. Twit -twit. Oh, uh, a message. Now, to be a fully fledged wizard, you had to go to the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And of course, the only way to get to the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was to go to Kingscross Station, platform nine and three quarters. And the only way to go to Kingscross Station, platform nine and three quarters, was quite simply run straight through the wall. Run through the wall, right through the wall. straight through the, the wall, all the way through You're the not wall. wall I'm not as stupid as you, Dan. Right. Now, when Harry got to Hogwarts, he made some very good friends. The first of which is a young boy by the name of Ron Weasley. Oh, what? I'm Ron Weasley. In it, I is fat with a pH. I is a ginger ninja. It's me being drawn in a wig. Yes, I can tell. Yeah. But now he made another friend as well, a young lady by the name of Hermione Granger. Hello, I'm Hermione Granger. Who was also 11. I know. You didn't know many girls when you were 11, did you, Dan? Don't know many girls now, if I'm honest, Jeff. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Now, unfortunately, as well as friends, Harry also made some enemies, the first of which is a teacher by the name of Professor Snape. I hate you. Ah! Uh, uh, he made another enemy as well by the name of Draco Malfoy. I hate you as well. Ah, stop! stop! We've only just started. It really hurt me. Right, give me that. You have that. I'll be the bad guy for a while. See how you like it. Oh, I'm Draco Malfoy. I'm not very nice. I go around hitting people. Yeah! I don't like you very much either. Ah, give me that. Stop showing off acting up. <laughs> now, straight to the crux of the book, The Philosopher's Stone. Now, The Philosopher's Stone in question is something which the evil Lord Voldemort... No, you've said Voldemort! I've said Voldemort! I've said it again! Shut up! Thanks for your contribution, Dan. It's something which the evil Lord... Unmentionable needs to regain his evil powers. Whoa, it is I, the evil Lord Voldemort. Ha ha, you said your own name. Of course I said my own name, you silly little man. How else would I get my mail? That is a fair point. Now I must get to the Philosopher's Stone before Harry Potter. There is the Philosopher's Stone. There is Harry Potter. Ha ha, I got it before no, you. No, Harry Potter has defeated me for the first time. End of book one. Thank you. Thank you.